Princess Jasmine. Are you excited guys? I'm excited guys. We're making Princess Jasmine today. Everything is okay. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make Princess Jasmine in the same style that I did Ariel, Pocahontas, and Tiana. Man, Aladdin was my jam when I was younger, so let's get started. Nope, the battery's dying. Let's hold on. Let me change the battery first, then we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. Now for this cake, I'm using a homemade bacon pan. I made this out of tin foil. Now as you can see, it's kind of leaking at the top, but that's okay because it's a perfect size and we're just gonna carve that mess away. Now this cake is a very specific shape and I wanted to make sure that I wasted as little cake as possible, hence the very specific bacon pan. Now I'm gonna take my cake leveler and just run it through to get the top layer of cake. Then I'm gonna run it through a second time to turn this into two even layers. Now I'm using lemon cake and I just realized that it's not my favorite. <laughs> you know, some people really enjoy lemon cake. That's my favorite way to say I don't like something. Instead of saying you don't like something, you just say, you know, some people really enjoy that. I'm just not one of those people. It's like celery or beet or girls. <laughs> now to create the perfect shape, I created a Princess Jasmine template. I'm just going to place that on top and then cut it out using my paring knife. Now I've gotten a lot of questions about this paring knife. It's super expensive, you guys. It was $1.99 at Ikea. <laughs> Joking, it's really cheap, but it gets dull really fast. So I have three of the same knife and I just rotate them to make sure that they stay sharp longer. And now I'm just going to pull away the excess. This is actually my favorite part because it just looks like regular cake and then it's like, what? There's a shape. You see the shape of her hair, the shape of her shirt. That's crazy. Now I'm going to place this onto my cake stand, remove the first layer and then add some buttercream into the middle. Just flatten it out with my offset spatula and then place on that second layer of cake. Somebody reposted my Pocahontas cake on Instagram and said that it was sandwich art. So they thought it was like bread and then like a whole bunch of mayonnaise and then bread. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> now I'm gonna give this cake a crumb coat just to ensure that all of the crumbs stay on the inside and on the first layer of buttercream. And you're gonna place this into the fridge for about 30 minutes or I fell asleep so I'm gonna say 12 hours. <laughs> I work from home so I just wake up whenever. You know, work hard, sleep hard. Took it out of the fridge, gave the top a full layer of buttercream, but I decided that I wanted to keep the sides of it kind of nude. The reason for that is because I wanted to be able to see the cake showing through the icing. I also didn't want to compromise the shape I was creating with a template. However, I am going to add on a very thin layer of turquoise buttercream to match the top of the cake. I really want the sides of this to look sort of unfinished. It's gonna match the texture that we create on the top of the cake and so it'll blend perfectly. Now you're gonna place this back into the fridge for about 30 minutes or like two episodes of House of Cards on Netflix. Yeah? I'm almost done with season three, so I'm trying to finish fast. That's what she said. <laughs> 40 minutes is what's required. Now while that was in the fridge, I was actually working on more of Jasmine's features. Created a printout that looks exactly like the picture I saw on the cup at Target. I know some of you have been looking for that cup and I don't know if they still have it. It was on the end cap of an aisle and I think it was on clearance. So I don't think anyone bought it, but I'm sure you can find it online somewhere. And I took a pair of scissors and I just cut out all of Jasmine's features. Each of these pieces were super thin and extremely hard to cut, but I persevered and I did it. But the reason I was so patient was because I knew it was gonna come together in the end. So I just kept going. If anyone knows the guy who drew these images, oh my gosh, link him below. I love these. And I can't find his name, it just says Disney. Come on, Disney, credit the person, credit the man, credit the woman. Who did this, Disney? After I cut out all of the pieces, I placed each one onto some thinly rolled black fondant and then cut them out using an X-Acto knife. Again, it took forever and a day to do all of this, but it will look bomb in the end. 
Now once you cut out all the pieces, you can take your cake out of the fridge and start painting on the icing. Now I created a lot of different colors of icing to make sure that I got her skin tone and the different colors of black and gray in her hair, as well as the turquoise and a lighter turquoise and a yellow to create all of the features in her headband and her top. The thing that I love about this is you have to give up a certain amount of control because you can't force the icing to move exactly where you want it. But this unfinished textured icing look adds so much to this cake. After I finished painting, I just started adding all of my pieces of fondant. When I was younger, there were three main Disney movies that I would dance around to. First was The Lion King, then The Little Mermaid, and Aladdin. You know, we would jump on the couches when we would sing A Circle of Life. We would use wooden spoons as drums when we were dancing to Under the Sea. Um, and we would sit on this old, ugly, oriental rug when we were singing A Whole New World. I remember just sitting on the rug and just imagining flying over China, the fireworks, and then I wanted to go to Bangladesh, and then Greece and Jakarta, just, you could go all the places you want to go. That song is so good. I think it's one of like my favorite duet. It's right up there with like Summer Lovin' from Greece and The Boy Is Mine by Monica and Brandy. And whenever we go to karaoke, I still sing a whole new world. I'll do Aladdin's part and then somebody will do Princess Jasmine's part. Sometimes that person is my cousin Vanessa. You know, some people really enjoy Vanessa singing. <laughs> I'm joking, I love Vanessa. But that voice, no good. <laughs> Dude, I could go on about how much I love this style of cake, but you guys already know it. I'm going to do all the princesses um, and a whole bunch of other characters. If you want to see the other cakes in this style, I will link them in the description box also at the end. Now I'm curious about a couple things. What is your favorite Aladdin song? What is your favorite duet? And if you had a magic carpet, where in the world would you want it to take you? And make sure you turn on your notifications so you can see exactly what I'm working on and you can incorporate some of your ideas and thoughts and I can incorporate it into the video. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.